Hey, what is up gamers? Today we're checking out Champion's Belt. I know, we know about this item, but also the Golden Champion's Belt. No time for losers here, guys. Only absolute victorious gamers. So what does this do? It is real simple. It's simply just Champion's Belt, but amped up to the maximum. Basically, every single enemy is going to be a champion instead of just like a higher chance of champions. I don't even know what's going on in this room, to be honest with you. Item hails from the Ipica Community Mod, one of my favorites. So I thought to myself, Hey, let's combine the golden version and the regular version and see what kind of gaming we can get up to. Instead of just being a flat damage up, it is instead just a big old damage multiplier. You guys know how much I love that. Dominant as ever. I mean, as far as I can tell, basically every single enemy has been a champion so far. I don't know if the regular champion and the golden champion uh, stack together. I, I can only imagine they do, but that's also kind of the reason I decided to combine them. Just in case, golden champion's belt leaves a little bit of wiggle room to have no champion spawn. The regular champion's belt should take care of that i think tears down oh my goodness so it's sort of gonna be kind of like an ultra hard type run today a little bit of a challenge so we're gonna have a good time uh, challenging ourselves trying to get to the very end except this time instead of just ultra hard it's gonna be all champions but we get the benefits of hearts thank freaking goodness what was in here lucky foot this is just a solid item next time i find that tears down pill i'm gonna convert it back up to a tears up and you're gonna be real sorry that you gave me that tears down in the first place first boss of the day is little horn i don't believe the golden champions belt affects bosses so we don't have to worry about that it's mainly just gonna be the room to room scenarios where we gotta be extra careful they're gonna take more damage to defeat but luckily we do have the extra damage to suffice for that so it'll be all right goodbye little horn and that is a new item it's a shot speed multiplier tears deal more damage the faster they move whipped cream that sounds delicious god damn i'm hungry oh it's an adorable sprite oh my goodness that's sick all right well let's go down Whoa. I don't even want to know what you do. Just get out of my game. I will not be taking any red heart damage on this floor. Ooh, little Loki. Or the blind. Vasculitis. This item's been showing up a lot recently. And I'm okay with that. It's a very solid item. It gets the job done when it needs to be done. I am definitely feeling the burn of, of that tears down, though. I can act all high and mighty all I want, but I'm not gonna deny. That definitely hurt my soul. 2.16 tier rate is just never a fun time. Maybe this will change my life forever? I mean, uh, depending on how you want to look at it, it really could. <laughs> Not saying I love consuming balls, but when it appears, I'm definitely thankful for it. Shop in here, red stew. I, yeah, uh, it's good. It's solid, but it's not exactly life-changing. Obviously, the crooked penny is cool too, but no. I might- I'm gonna roll, actually. Whoa, what is that? Medical bill refills all your HP, removes all your coins. Wow. This says a lot about society moment. I'm- I'm out of here. We might be able to roll it again. Uh, I'd like to. I'd love to take advantage of the shop, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to spawn this deal so that I could not go inside of it and go angel deals instead. What is this pill then? Luck up. Oh yeah, PhD lucky foot moment is already beginning to mega pay off. I like what I see here. Honestly, with how fast these enemies are dying, it does not- feel like I have 7.80 damage. I have a good general sense of what damage feels like in Isaac. At least I like to think, but I'm, I'm killing these enemies a lot faster. Like I'm two-shotting that guy. I feel like I should be three-shotting that guy. Or, or am I crazy? I don't know. A lot of these enemies are new to be fair, and they are the champion variants of the new ones. So I'm just maybe not used to how much HP these new enemies are supposed to have. Like this big dude, a champion version of that dude, I honestly presume to take like four shots. He took three, but maybe Maybe I'm just that powerful, I guess. We got a Wormwood fight. This guy should be easy. Genuinely, in my opinion, for my personal skill level, I would take Wormwood over Blub any day of my life. But I also understand if you hate Wormwood, because this guy can be a little bit crazy sometimes. A couple shots should finish the job. No leeches to worry about. Magic scab. I will, will take this, because the luck is good, and I guess we're just building into luck today. Always a fun stat to work with. Ever since Repentance made luck so much more relevant with so many gods tier effects i'm really happy to see it and instead we will again just roll a shop maybe something good steam sale that's the one take the key maybe i spawn right next to a treasure room next floor it's good to have a roll available and i think for my final act of business i'm gonna check out this very obvious secret room i uh, get a bunch of pills that seem sick 
Four health shots speed up. The ice, that's technically a damage up. And then we're out of here. Later, gamers. Oakley Dokley. Next treasure room has a metronome. I'm gonna take the blind here. Akeldama. I always feel like I get vasculitis and Akeldama on the same runs very close together. I don't know if this is some weird cosmic Isaac phenomenon or just me. I, I'm unsure here. But both of them are generally solid items, so no complaints. All right. I see no reason to stall. Let's just go fight Rainmaker real quick. Another very nice, simple boss to fight on Dross uh, slash downpour because this guy is so easy. The only way I ever got hit by Rainmaker is whenever he T-posed on me and I got too close because I was shooting like this. I eventually broke that habit. Finally, it only took a couple thousand hours. I'd love a speed up. I feel slow. And then here? Whoa, what is that? It's a bit of a damage up and a chance for soul, golden, or eternal hearts to drop when enemies die. That seems so good. What? <laughs> but at the same time, it's not that crazy, is it? I don't know. Let's defeat these angels. I probably shouldn't have tried to fight both of them at the same time, but part of me wanted to ego because if I managed to do this without getting hit, I would have infinite bragging rights. That's not gonna happen. Hey, but I mean, only like a couple hits. That's not too bad. I I kind of really want this. I, I'll take it. It's new. It's cool. A blessing of protection. And then roll these. Okay, well, this is a spirit sword run now. Thanks for the Eucharist as well. Arthritis simulator. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Oh! I don't know why there's a binge eater here, but thank you. I, that's very sick with it. You know what I have not seen in a while? That really hurt my soul. I guess not really. I have spirit sword, so cheers doesn't matter, but uh, you know. I have not seen rock bottom in a while. Where is that guy at? I might have to go out of my way, do a little bit of rigging on my third file, and uh, try my best to find rock. It's been a bit. I kind of miss its face. How's it doing? What is that? Scratch card. Scratch the card for a prize. Over 30 different prizes and outcomes to be won. Sure. All right, I, I, I lost. That's me for real whenever I use a scratch card. Have you guys ever won one of those? I don't mean like win like like 20 bucks because everyone has like won one time, I feel. Or not everyone, but you know. Generally, it's not too hard to win like $5, $1 back, etc. But I'm talking like the big, like 100 plus. Have you guys ever done 100 plus? I don't think I have ever known a single person that's won a scratch card like that. That'd be pretty sick. I don't think I would ever do it. I mean, I might. <laughs> now that the idea has been instilled into my mind. I won't deny that I'm kind of tempted to do it a bit more than I was about 30 seconds ago. But generally, no, I, I would not. I, I think that's a clear and easy way to lose money. Yes, there's gambling and gambling is fun. I almost just died. But there's also smart gambling. Gambling can be funny, but funny isn't like good. What's good is when you're funny and also you like get the big boy payoff. Yeah, that's right. I'm suggesting horse race gambling. <laughs> I've never done that before either. That sounds really fun. I, I actually, I, I I have no idea like how people can do that. Bet thousands upon thousands of dollars on a horse that you have no idea how they're gonna perform. But I guess that's also the fun of it. All right, solo Napoleon in here. This will demolish Rainmaker very quickly. Our reward is Binky which is fine. This is actually a decent item to take. Yes, the tears down does not matter, but the size down is really good. The soul heart as well. Let's go ahead and roll this guy. And that's a new item. Cloaked baby on room clear heals a random wisp to full health. If all your wisps have full health and you spawn fewer than four, spawns a wisp. Wow, that's really good. It's like a wisp baby. That's insane. Hello? And it's self-sustaining? Thank you. Let's get out of here. Okay. So now whenever- wow, there's so many champions. <laughs> whenever I kill an enemy, there's so many bullets that are being spurt out by vasculitis. I'll admit, even for me, I, I am having a hard time trying to figure out which M bullets are fine to walk by and which are not. I want to say generally none of them are, but you know, in a scenario like that where there's only like a one tile wide uh, like whole map thing, there's no real wiggle room. I just kind of have to guess. <laughs> ah, the classic special room dead end. You love to see it. Uh, give me this coin. While while I take damage and probably don't put that in the video anymore. And then we'll take Lacrifigy. Majorly embarrassing gameplay. Shop into what the heck is this? And what the heck are you? Okay, I know what the scratch off is and sure, I'll do it. Uh, what? It worked! <laughs> what is this? All in, luck up, luck multiplier, and drops the poker chip. That is insane. I- gimme gimme, hell yeah. Raise the freaking stakes. And then I want to see what this is. Oh, a little poke up. Okay, nah, I'm just lucky as hell, I guess. Cyberbub converts batteries into pickups. Gets the leftover charges from clearing rooms with your item fully charged. I, uh, it sounds good in theory. I don't like the idea of my charges being stolen, but I just gotta be on top of it from now on. You got anything cool by blowing this up? 
Ah, uh, nah, just basic pickups. All this talk about gambling and luck and the all-in item that I just got randomly, it's making me very excited to go to EVO. I'm very, very happy. I will be attending EVO. Uh, if you don't know when that is, it's gonna be like July, I think, 28-ish, whenever. Oh, there goes my battery again. Uh, because we did that Tekken tournament, you know what I'm saying? The Sage Jam Slam with all the big streamers, where everyone kind of played Tekken. Some people were new to it, some people were a bit more experienced. And that went really, really well. It was so fun hanging out with a bunch of different streamers and just trying to learn Tekken and having a good time. Uh, the first two spots of uh, the like prizing were you get a trip to Evo and the second spot is also you get a trip to Evo. The only difference between first and second was uh, that first gets a trip to Evo but uh, like a little bit extra gambling money. The same thing. And our team got second. We did really well. I did not drop a single game, dude. What the hell are you? Okay, well, now I've learned. Okay, good to know. <laughs> it's not like red heart damage matters, by the way. We got, we got Eucharist, we're, we're chilling. Yeah, I did not drop a single game. I hella performed. And so we got that trip to Evo, and I'm just thinking, you know, Evo is in Vegas. All this gambling talk, I'm gonna have a fun time betting it all on black. Just like last time, if you know about the lore, you know. When we went to TwitchCon last time, I did a bit of gambling. Basically, just I, one time, I bet it all on black, and I doubled the money. How about I do it again? Hey, how, how about someone down in the comments Tell me how much should I bet on black in a in like a one-off type deal? Oh my god skeleton key reroll lost contact Whoa, with the lightsaber is really good spirit sword lost contact is a classic scenario where you cannot lose Yeah, tell me how much I'll just do like one big time gamble just like last time and I'll come back I'll report my earnings or losses and see see what happens <laughs> that way you guys get content and I can provide different stories by the time I'm back Yes, I am 100% allowing you guys to enable me when I go and try and gamble money <laughs> That being said on the real for real. I, I do not recommend doing that whatsoever. I'm literally just doing it for like content moment and story time. I would never actually do this and I cannot recommend it uh, as little enough if that's the right way to say it. I feel stompy. Okay, cool. Like I would not do it. Don't do it. Seriously don't. But like maybe, I don't, you know, maybe you're the 1%. <laughs> Got a curse room in here, it's just a black heart paying out with a chest, that's cool. Spirit Sword with the major damage up from a golden champion's belt has proven to be absolutely immaculately unbeatable. I actually don't see how we could lose here. I mean, like, dude, look at that. Oh! Creatine powder! What, like protein powder or something? You guys ever have protein powder shakes? I had a little arc where I did that. It's a damage multiplier and speed, and it comes from the boss pool? That is nuts. And what was- OH FUCK! Okay, well, I'm just lucky as hell today. Thank you. Don't even need to blow up the angel. Don't care about it too much. I'm happy to get devil deals today. Let's just go down. Okay, depths one. Moving forward. All we gotta do- Wow, triple horps are a scary concept for an enemy. Is, uh, find more treasure rooms. Find more items and shops and everything. And I think we're gonna be chilling. This feels like such a powerful run. Another dead end into special room moment. The Isaac vibes are immaculate today. What is this pill that I don't know? I found them and I ate them. And in the shop, that that just sucks to be honest with you. I, I'll take it, dude. 100%. It's gonna be wacky, it's gonna be wild, but the range up from the Spirit Sword is actually worth it here. As long as we don't go too crazy with it, and I don't even know what's going on there. Like, I got Spirit Swords that are bursting open into tiny planet Spirit Swords. Like, that looks sick. Very nice. Another scratch shop. Hey, it worked off last time. Maybe I become a millionaire two times in a row. Definitely not the case. Terra Cloth is broken as hell. Uh, I, it's good to know that the Cyberbomb cannot steal from the shop and just t take this little battery. So we get to keep that battery with us. Well, I'll keep that in mind if I need to reroll. Uh, let's go find that boss. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What if this was my tainted loss run? I'd be so mad. There was probably a tell there for uh, for that being a like a fake room or whatever that was. But I do not have the Ipecac community knowledge to be able to just call that out just yet. That was really cool though. I like that. Same concept as like the spike chests or the little ghostly ghastly chests. You know, little tiny baits are always good in Isaac to make sure that they always keep you on your toes, you know? I like to imagine that's why they introduced them in Repentance. Because people who got so confident playing Isaac and they're like, yeah, nothing 
can defeat me. Those little game mechanics can really throw you for a loop and they are really fun. Like I was genuinely excited and happy that I got destroyed there. That being said, don't do that again or else. Wait a second, can those guys even be champions regularly? I don't think so. Are there like new champions under Ipecac? God freaking damn it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Who set me up? You're going down. Oh, it's you, Brownie. I knew it all along. It would be you. Annoying as hell, boss. Another angel because Eucharist is broken. Oh! Stairway is the way. I just need three more cents to make this pay off. I'm going to save my roll. Actually, no, I'm not. I got batteries. Let's take care of this key piece and then roll this instead. It's going to be really good. Monstrance don't need it. Uh, I got batteries laying around, so hold on. Boop. Jesus juice. Uh, a very weak sauce item from the angel pool. Let me try one more time. I got one more battery at the, uh, the shop, I think. Or should I save the roll for the next floor? That That's actually probably smarter, huh? Like I save it for the stairway specifically? Yeah, Montrance is at least like an item I can use. So let's do that instead. I'll get three more cents from the blood bank. Boop, boop, and boop. Okay, just kidding. One more time, please. There you go. We'll take Monstrance and then we'll roll the stairway instead while having 30 cents. This will be really good. It's not Monstrance, it's Jesus Jeez. You gonna pay out? Oh! What even is it? Oh, I got Steam Sale. Prismatic Attraction? Enemies have a chance of being imprisoned. Imprisoned enemies will refract Isaac's tears like the Angelic Prism item. So it's Angelic Prism, but better? Because it sounds like Angelic Prism, but like it's quality four. So by definition, it's better, right? I think. Maybe I'm incorrect in understanding here. I, I don't know. Let's roll. We get Purgatory. We get Rosary. These are decent items as well. Arcade. Hell game. I'll spend all my red hearts. We got a decent amount of soul hearts. Please don't blow yourself up is never worth it. Maybe you can figure out what you're trying to give me. And even if I use all my red hearts, I'm uh, pretty confident in my health pool right now. Especially with Wafer, you know? Like, I'll be okay. What was that? What was that? I don't know. Oh, it was cards. Uh, I guess I could take some black hearts, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to come back. Let's just use the reverse stars. I mean, the regular stars. Book of Revs and Spinning Wheel. After shooting for a while, you gain 0.2 times fire delay and tears start coming 30 degrees rotated from the previous... From the previous what? <laughs> Uh, roll moment. Libra! Would Libra be throw? I feel like Libra would be throw, but Libra would also be kind of funny. I'm gonna do it. How's my damage doing? Uh, actually not too terrible. It was a bit of a throw, like straight up. Like I did get a bit of a damage down, but it's just not significant enough to really matter. I was thinking that guy is dapper as hell. I can't even be mad that that guy's a grimace. Good job, dude. You look baller. I was thinking uh, it looked like my range was super duper high, so it would make up for the damage down. I think that is what happened, but it just wasn't as much as I was thinking. No biggie though. Again, such a small damage down for the fact that we got Lieber from now on. It's really good if we find a range up. We're gonna be chilling. Shop again. Fanny pack is really good for us. And that's all our special rooms. But I'm in no rush to really... What? Excuse me? The secret dad's key room. Oh my goodness. I found it. After 4,000 hours in Isaac. What is happening? I'll take the Bible and get Seraphim. Bye. Okay, I was kidding when I said I found like the secret dad's key room, but I actually literally went to the secret dad's key room and I am genuinely shocked to my core right now. I don't know what to think. That was incredible. <laughs> anyway, yeah, any kind of range ups we get are going to be damaged, so we're going to be chilling from now on. And I am happy to full clear because we have uh, no rush whatsoever. Actually, that's the full clear. We already did it. Time to go. Negative or Polaroid? Let's go up today. I'm feeling angelic. Uh, and let's take care of this angel and roll the key piece. Boom, later, reroll stigmata and new item alert. Stigmata into, what are you? Beams of light fall from the sky upon taking damage. That seems broken as hell. Imagine this on Tainted Maggie. I have a new idea, guys. <laughs> Stairway mo oh! That one kind of hurt my voice, but it was so worth it for specifically Sacred Heart. Sometimes you get a little bit excited, okay? You see Sacred Heart, and it's like, well, that's the best thing to ever happen to me in my life. These guys have absolutely demonic sound effects, and I'm a big fan. That was actually really cool. I don't know what their whole deal is. I didn't really get to see what they wanted to do, and I don't think I ever will want to. But hell yeah, man, I love that sound design. Sounds very similar to like the Flash Angel Isaacs. I always like those dudes. Range up again. This is an all stats up thanks to Libra. And wow, that's really good. 
All our luck has finally paid off. I mean, quite literally, it has paid off. The luck we have been receiving is now going to go absolutely nasty. Oh yeah, we are holy today. God, I love Angel Room so much. Do you see the types of things you can achieve when you go angelic mode? When you finally commit to God, do away with your past sins. Yeah, I always was an angel enjoyer. Don't get me wrong, Brimstone and Flash Isaac was always one of a kind, but it never really compared to how rare Sacred Heart was in flash i mean you never went angel rooms flash and then sacred heart was still the rarest item ever so combining those two it was just one of a kind to find that item i'll admit it angels were always on top reroll this some conjoined progress uh, some flight and some <laughs> more internal hearts just hp everywhere let's go straight up but I'm serious, man. You really never went angels in Flash. You never, ever, ever got to see the Sacred Heart. I think I only saw it a couple times in the amount of time I put into Flash. And I think, by definition, Sacred Heart was the rarest item in Flash Isaac. I could be wrong. But I think in terms of item weight, like it, it, it actually was. Now, I actually don't even know what the rarest item in the game is. It's probably something like Glitch Crown or something, you know? Because secret room items are harder to come by than angel rooms. And Glitch Crown's item weight is probably absurdly low. These guys are champions. It sure doesn't feel like it. I'm one-shotting them no matter what. Uh, shot speed up? I don't know if this really works. But you know, we got that whips cream from earlier where we were getting stats, apparently. Like, damage from shot speed up. Either way, though, the stats are necessary because it balanced out by Libra and we got an all stats up. Final order of business is the chest. Very excited to see what's going on in here. So many eternal hearts. And, uh, that's, that's fine. That's cool. But I'd like to see if we can maybe roll this. Give you all my money because I definitely don't need it. We got blue map. Not a fan of the black. Key piece don't need relic. Let's just hit the roll into Genesis. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it and then giving myself back golden champion's belt so I don't, you know, lose out on it because that's the whole point of the run. But yeah, let's do it. That's that's gonna be sick. Do this. Where are we going? Okay, holy light. This is probably gonna be a worse run overall, but it's gonna be fun this way. Uh, Lil Greed is familiar. That's new, so I'll take it. This is conjoined. Sag Dagger. Okay, so far, this is not too incredible. <laughs> Star Bethlehem is good. Eternal Sea for Seraphim. Yeah, I'll take this. Uh, Aqualdama makes its grand return. Nice to see you. Angelic Prism, once again. This time, I mean, I'm just getting the exact same run. <laughs> Birthright. That's a big one. Yeah, this this is gonna be really good now. Oh! I, I honestly I don't know why I was screaming because I saw Cricket's body. I was like, that's that's quality three. I'm pretty sure, but I'm so happy to see it. Uh, but then C section showed its face, so we all know what I gotta do here. Sorry to uh, Cricket's body enjoyers. Tears up. Holy mantle is pretty sick with it. Do I care? Uh, hey, yeah, I'll take it. Why am I also dancing? What is this? Oh, it's the it's the powder again. Yeah, this is really good. Of all of these, I actually don't care, so I'll take Circle Protection. That's Mutant Spider. That's just El Clasico, dude. Nothing can compete with this. Satanic Bible and something new. It's quality four. Upon entering a boss room, we'll give you the option to switch the current boss to another one. That's cool, except like I don't actually need it. That's a good early game item. What's going on in here? Oh, I'll take Fruitcake. Fruitcake into reroll, maybe? Something better? Yeah! That's the stuff we want. And oh, that is humongous. Should I take Godhead because we already got Sacred Heart today? No, honestly, after gassing up Sacred Heart so much, I can't do my man like that. Range, again, very good with C-section. Bot fly, I don't got spin down, but defensive prowess is important. Room bag could pop off. I could just crash the game. I could just, I could crash the game. This is, uh oh, you know, this is bad actually, because this seems like a hard crash. We'll see how this works. I might not be able to continue from the chest. I'm gonna relaunch and then I won't Genesis again. It was fun seeing all those items though. Hey, we're back. I got my, my I got my old thing going. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I'll take the technology, get the laser, reroll this, get a bunch of different items, and then I'm gonna reroll myself anyway. That's right, you can't stop me, video game. You think you got power over me? Yeah, right. And now let's speed run our way towards Blue Baby because I'm almost certain that we're gonna crash again if I continue to D4, and I don't want that to happen, so let's be very careful here. I guess I actually got way too powerful and literally crashed my game by just existing. Tech X, hello! I didn't even see you here, to be honest with you. It was kind of hard to see your sprite, but I'm glad you're here, even though you're not really doing anything. Hurry now, hurry now, please do not crash on me anytime soon. Despite that, you can bet your ass I'm still gonna continue to press spacebar again. 
<laughs> Sacred Heart, Revelation, still Spirit Sword, it's just forever in this game, and we get to have Mario this time. Spirit Sword is eternal, I guess. I gave it up one time, it showed up again, I re-rolled, it showed up, I re-rolled, it showed up, you just can't get rid of it. And that'll be that, Blue Baby is done, Golden Champion's Belt has uh, honestly impressed me to no end. It really felt like it was just a game changer, I never Justice. felt like I could not kill enemies, that was crazy good. Shoutouts to Ipecac Community Mod and GG's!